Hello everybody, my name is Momo Riodele. Hope you had a nice time in your online class. Welcome to service. Good morning kids, welcome to another exciting God Experience service. I'm sure we had a great week and I'm sure we are still singing our song on faith and faith. And by now, I trust that your faith should be bigger than your faith. You know, sometimes things around us that we see and enjoy, we think, we sometimes think they are not so important, but they are actually very, very important. I'm sure you are saying to yourself, what is she talking about again this morning? So this morning, children, I have come to talk to us about some very important things that we seem to overlook or take for granted. And by that, I mean the everyday blessings of God that we enjoy. Someone is saying, what does she mean by blessing? Now, imagine that you are staying all alone by yourself. You don't have a mommy, you don't have a daddy, you don't have uncles, you don't have aunts, you don't have friends or neighbors. I bet it's, I bet it's going to be a very boring life. But guess what? We are blessed because we all have mommies, we all have daddies. And not staying on an island or in the desert where we don't have neighbors and friends. We have all those people surrounding us. We can talk to them, we can play with them, they can share our pain, they can say sorry to us when we fall or we need someone to comfort us. All these are the blessings of God. And I have come this morning to remind you of this blessing and most importantly that you should never take them for granted. Let's read what God has to say to us this morning about this many blessings. Please come with me this morning to Psalm 133 verse 1. He says, and I read in the message translation, How wonderful, how beautiful when brothers and sisters get along. It's like a costly anointing oil flowing down from head and beef. I like to stop there because my emphasis is on the first part of the verse that says, how wonderful and beautiful it is for us to have brothers and sisters. So I want to remind you this morning that in the midst of being at home, not going anywhere, not being able to play freely on the streets or coming to church to play like you do, thank God always for the gift of mommy, of daddy, of your brothers and your sisters because God gave us this gift because he loves us. And how do I know that God loves us? Because the Bible tells me that God loves us. Let's go to Malachi chapter 1 verse 2 this morning. And the Bible says there, in the message translation, the Bible says, God said, I love you. Can you imagine that? God loves us us. He loves you. He loves mommy. He loves daddy. He loves every one of us. And you reply, really? How have you loved us? And God has shown his love to us by giving us a family where we all come from. Everyone has come from a family. Everyone was born into a family. And so we have the love of our sisters, our brothers, our friends, our grandmas, our uncles, nieces, and nephews. But most importantly, we have the love of Jesus. I will not leave today without teaching you another song to remind you consistently about the love of God for you. And the song goes thus. I am blessed. You are blessed. We are blessed because He loves us. Are you blessed? You are blessed. I am blessed. 
We are blessed because He loves us. So as we go this week, my beautiful children, don't forget God loves you. And that is why you are from a family and you belong to a family. So as we go this week, remind yourself as you walk, as you pray, as you study online, as you eat and as you sleep, that you are loved by God. Until I come your way next week, be good, be obedient, and remember, firstly, you are loved by God, and secondly, that your faith is greater than your faith. Okay, so children, before we go this week, let's say a word of prayer, not only for ourselves, but for every child around the world. Guess what? Some children are actually critically ill right now. Some children don't have food to eat. Some don't have where to stay. But like I said, God loves you. And so to show that love also, to share that love with someone this morning, the best we can do at this time is to say a word of prayer for all our friends and all the children around the world. So let's close our eyes, children, and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. We are grateful to you because you love us. Thank you for making us children. Thank you because you love us specially as children. And so we pray for all our friends in Lagos, in Nigeria, outside Nigeria, and all over the world, that as we celebrate the Children's Day, you will make them good children in their families in the name of Jesus. You will make them good ambassadors of God's kingdom and their communities in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because you will help us to grow strong and be good children that you have created us to be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I go, how can I forget? Wow. Our Children's Day is coming. Yippee! Even though we can't go out to play, we can't go out to have fun, our schools can have old parties for us, we are still going to have fun because it is World Children's Day. And I'm glad I'm also still a child to somebody. So ensure that you enjoy your Children's Day. Have fun with your siblings. Have fun with mommy and daddy because mommy and daddy too are someone's daughter and son. So happy children to you guys. Until I come your way next week, be good and remember, God loves you. Welcome back. Hope you learned something new today. I learned that God loves me. And my parents love me too. And God loves you too. See you next week. Bye. Oh, yeah. Happy Children's Day well in advance. Bye.